Hey what's going on guys. In this video we are going to see how to sketch the signal when the expression is given. If you look at the graph here we have x of t t right but we want to see what's going to be the x of t minus 1. So when we have t minus 1 it means 1 unit shifted to the right. Like you can see this is a time delay so it's delayed by 1 unit. So each time we have to add 1 so it's going to move to the right by 1 unit. So we have to just add 1 to each of these. And it's going to turn into this is going to become 0 negative actually this one negative 2 so this is going to become negative 1 and let's write with a different color this is negative 1 this is going to become 0 this is going to become 1 and this is going to become 2 and this is going to become 3 so let's go ahead and draw the new graph so the new graph will look like this we will have x and y and in the x-axis we will have this one moved to the one unit so we will have a graph like this we will have something like this connected like this like this and then like this after that we will have something like this okay now let's go ahead and label this one this is minus one zero this is going to be 1 and this is going to be 2 and this is going to be 3 and this is what this is negative 1 and here we have negative this is positive 1 this is 1 and here we have 2 and that's it right so this is going to be the graph of the given expression now let's look at the second part here we have another one now in order to do this do this one we have to have some space let's get rid of this right so this is the okay let's label this one first this is x of t minus 1 and this is t okay now let's get rid of this one okay so let's do the second part this is our b part now we are going to draw the signals based on this expression Okay, our original signal x of t times versus t is given. Now let's see how we can do this. There are two methods you can use. Let's look at the methods. Method 1 is method 1 is first what we can do is we can shift it 4 units because it's plus 4. So we can 6 I mean shift like x of t plus 4 first. So this is shifting. After that what we can do is we can reverse it because we have to have a negative in front of this t so that means that that is reversing so x of negative t plus 4 this is called reversal reversal and the third step is we are going to scale this one scale mean we have a, this one divided by 2 so we have to divide this t by 2 in order to get the correct final answer right final sketch so this is scaling so this is one of the method now let's see what the other method is other method is method 2 the first step is we okay first step is we reverse this one x of minus t reversal and the second step is we scale this one x of minus t divided by 2 scaling and after that we shift this one so shifting is going to be what shifting is going to be x of minus t divided by minus half and then t minus 8 so this is another way this is going to be the same thing but i'm going to do the first method and then you can verify this method and see whether you get the same answer now let's look at the first one t plus 4 shifting so before we seen when we have minus it means you move to the right but when we have plus we have to think it like minus minus 4 it means move 4 unit to the left so we have to add minus 4 each time so here we have we are going to have minus 4 with this one minus 4 minus 4 minus 4 minus 4 so this is going to become what this is going to become negative 6. Here we will have negative 5. This is going to be negative 4, negative 3, negative 2. 
So this is going to be the new graph. Okay, let's go ahead and draw that graph. So our graph is going to look something like this. So we are moving to the left, so it's better to have some space right here. Let's get rid of this one. Okay. Let's continue right here. Okay, so from we have to start from negative six. So if I say this is our negative six, we are going to have a graph like this. Okay, so this is exactly the same graph, but oh, this is this is not here because this one is negative two, right? So we have to have this one somewhere here. Okay, so let's start start labeling this one. This is gonna be what this is negative six and this is negative 5 this is negative 4 and here we have negative 3 and this height is 2 and the this is negative 2 so this is going to be the shift of 4 unit to the right now we have to do the reversal so when you think about think about reversal you just have to think it like if you rotate this one to this one how it's going to look like so you can imagine in that way you will see when i draw this you will see it clearly so the graph is going to look like this. So when you rotate, you will have a graph that will look like something like this. Okay, you will start from 2. Okay, so you can see this graph is same graph just rotated like this. So you, you will get something like this. You also, also see the values are going to be like here all we had is negative. So this is going to become positive 2, positive 3. Instead of 3 with negative, we, everything is going to be positive 3. And this is going to be 4. And here we will have 5. And this is going to be 6. And this height is 2. And this is 1 okay so this is how th how the this one reversals we done shifting we done reversing the next step is scaling scaling you can see the scaling factor that is uh, the scaling factor is given by a by t here that is less than less than one right so this is a small number so what we have to do is we have just we have to just divide if you divide one over two for this one that's going to multiply because this is what you are looking for one over two that will multiply so you will have you have to multiply everything by 2 so 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 so that's going to shift to the right by like when you multiply you will get 4 here 6 here let's try to the different color so this is going to be 4 this is going to be 6 this is going to become 8 this is going to be 10 this is going to be 12 so we are going to shift it like this so the new graph will look like something I, I have to get rid of this one okay so this is the last step Let's get rid of this part and draw our final graph. Okay. So our final graph is going to look like some something like this. Okay, so let's go ahead and draw that something like this some okay i better draw with a different color okay something like this something like this and then something like this like this and then like this and then like this like this okay after that we that's it so let's go ahead and label this one first. So this is going to be what starting from 4. Because we multiply everything by 2. So this is 4, this is 6, this is 8. 
and then this is going to be 10 and this is going to be 12 and this height is 1 and this is 2 and this is our final graph this is what the this expression is this is x of negative t by 2 x of negative t by 2 plus 4 by t and that's our final answer for the second question i hope this helps thanks for watching